Hello. I got a question today about whether or not you can send your form submitters to a thank you page after they submit a form in SharePoint. And this is the effect that we want. So when they submit the form, they land on a thank you page. So clearly the answer is yes. And let's go through exactly how to do that. So this technique is assuming that you're using a SharePoint list for your form. So something like this, um, it'll also work with Microsoft lists, which is basically the same thing as a SharePoint list. Um, the thing is, is that the form URL for Microsoft lists is actually SharePoint. So it's gonna send you to SharePoint either way. So we're just gonna start there. So you're gonna to wanna to start on your list view and get the URL for your form. And the way that you do that is you just go up to your address bar and take off the whatever.aspx, that's your view. So you're left with just your list URL. So it'll be the word lists forward slash your list name, another forward slash, and then you go to new form dot ASPX. And then what you do is you do a question mark source equals, and then you paste in the URL for your thank you page. For, for me, that's this one here. Obviously, this assumes that you already have a thank you page set up. Um, if you don't already have one, just create one from your home page. You just go to the plus new menu and create a new site page. So you just paste in the URL for your thank you page there. And then you use this URL for all of your buttons and links and whatever. So this is the URL that you give people to fill out the form. So the source equals is going to be the behavior that happens after they submit the form. It's going to send them to whatever URL is after that. So if we go here and fill out our form and submit it, it'll send us to the thank you page. So if you're unfamiliar, the default behavior is for it to send you to the list view, the default list view. So this lets you basically have people land on a different page when they're done submitting. So I used to do this for pretty much all of the request forms that I made in SharePoint. And I almost always use SharePoint lists because they have a lot of convenient features. I have another video, by the way, on how to set up a form in a SharePoint list. So I'll link to that on the end screen here in case that's useful to you. So thank you for watching and have a great day.